Welcome back to Buildsum, and this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to bisect, geometrically bisect, an angle. Uh, obviously, if you're doing it with a software package, uh, some sort of CAD program, you could just uh, use the bisect function. But if you're doing it on paper, you need to be able to bisect your angles, especially the ones that aren't 90 degrees. So you're going to need a compass, that's the one thing you are going to need. So what you do is you start with the, your corner of your angle and you're going to draw a circle. Now it should come out a little bit more than halfway um, but you want to come out a known distance. So if you're using a compass just set your compass make sure it doesn't move. I'm going to come out two meters, that's the radius of that circle. Then wherever this circle crosses the outside of my angle I'm going to do the same thing, a circle of the same size. So two meters there and it just happens to hit there so they come out two meters there. So, what you can do now is where these two circles meet and the corner, that is an exact bisection or half the angle of your corner. So, you've now drawn in the correct position for your hip. Oh, done it again. So, that is your hip on that side. Then for the other side, you just have to repeat the process. So again, starting on the corner, coming out a little bit more than halfway is good, but as long as there's a known distance, wherever that line crosses the outside, same distance, same radius. And then where those two circles meet, which is just there, back to the corner, that'll give me a bisection of that angle. So I should be able to tidy all this up. Get rid of that bit. So there you go, I've bisected my two corners that aren't right angles. And you uh, can do the same process for the corners that are right angles. Or you can just use a 45 degree set square. So there you go, that's how you bisect and uh, or geometrically bisect an angle.